previously. I'm Trev Gaming! Brace yourselves for the new Pedro Lefty I am the best 8100 guy. 8100 guy. 8100 guy. 8 Which means you win. Yugi meets Yuya. They both meet their daddy. That's me. That's the. Ow! That hurt, man. That hurt. I just stepped in shit. That's right. Dark Magician meets Pendulum. Infinity negates. Through any hand trap. That sounds like it'll break a lot, man. Oh my god. Yeah, you. Do you have a question? Uh, sir, Triff, Mr. Sir. So, I'm so sorry, sir. Uh, sorry. Fucking say it. What? It, is Dark Magician Girl gonna, gonna be in a combo? You're damn right she is. Dark Magician Girl and Dark Magician in the combo, baby. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We searched for like five Dark Magician cards during the combo. One away with Dark Magician, obviously. One away with Dark Magician Girl. And stay tuned until the end, man. It's gonna be absolutely nuts. It's gonna blow your mind. And the most important part about it all, this deck is tier one. Oh yeah, I have made Dark Magician tier one, and you're about to see. Mixed in with the best archetype in the game, Trifulums. So enjoy greatness. We're at 15,100 subscribers. I love every single one of you. Subscribe right now if you haven't already. Let's hit 15,200 subscribers, man. Your support is everything to me, man. I love you all so much. Let's hit that subscribe button, guys. You never forget that the best way to start on your opponent, check out my beautiful trip game. Play by the description below. If you're ready, drop a like and let's get straight to the video. Dark Magician, Dark Magician Girl, Pendulums, Pang God. Let's go. Look at that pussy right there. That's what you get. That's what you get for talking shit. All right, guys, now in this combo, uh, we simply search slash special summon five Dark Magician cards. It's an amazing combo, which literally ends up searching and utilizing the most broken, one of the most broken Dark Magician spells I have ever read in my life. This card's busted. Not just Dark Magician spells, but literally any spell in the game. This is one of the most broken spells I have ever read in my life. And yes, it's a Dark Magician spell card. You're going to see for yourselves, we're going to end up searching this spell and you're using this spell to destroy everything our opponent controls. You guys are going to see what I am mean in a short second. This is absolutely nuts. It's going to blow your mind. And how do we search all these cards without playing just the horrible Dark Magician engine in itself? We play Pendulums. A whole Pendulum engine that ends up on searching five Dark Magician cards and leaving a board of Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl on field. And you guys are going to see for yourselves. So... Over here, we drew uh, Dragon Ravine, which really saved our hand. Now, I, a lot of you guys don't play Dragon Ravine, and I still, up to this day, don't even know why. If our opening hand did not have Dragon Ravine, we had zero turbo cards, and we lost. Now, I did fast forward that because they're just a typical pendulum board so far. I don't care so much about putting up our board. I want to show you guys what happens after our pencil and how to search out the Dark Magician cards and use this broken Dark Magician combo. Now, if you see our extra deck here, we got Symphonic Warrior Mics. Why do we send Symphonic Warrior Mics? Very simply, we need an extra normal summon. Now, in this combo, we use Time Star Magician to search Magician's Rod, which searches this amazing spell card. And we need a rank 7 to go into Ebon Illusion Magician to special summon the Dark Magician to utilize our amazing spell card. So, it's a very simple setup if you Pendulum Summon and play proper cards in your deck. Now, we Hard Drew Destrudo, all right? So what we would do, we play Guard Dragon in this combo as well to ensure level 7s and to get negates. For, we, Denko screws this because you're going to end up on an Azathot, uh, one, uh, the broken Dark Magician spell card that I told you guys that out, just literally destroys all spells and traps your opponent controls. A uh, quick play card, absolutely amazing interruption. Like the one of the best interruptions in the game if you could use it properly. And a Jackal or something like that. Or uh, the negate, the hot, hot, Arch Fiend Abyss, whatever that one's called. Uh, but we drew really the Strudel, which we need for the combo, so we don't go into Guard Dragons here. Instead, we summon Mike's, the level 7, Harmonizing and Harmonizing. Now, Mike's is there because you need an extra normal summon, but you also need a Time Star and an Ebon Illusion. Keep that in mind. Now, in the situation where we didn't have access to two level 7s and a Time Star, that's when we go into, instead of a Gate 0, we go into Dark Worm there. Or we would add back a Gate 0 instead of Harmo or instead of the Bakfang. 
and we would ensure that we don't go guard dragon instead, special summoning out the Destrudo, which we also drew, and giving another level 7 like that. So you know what I mean? It's very easy. And lastly, if you don't, uh, still can't get level 7s, you go into your Orcus combo to ensure Orcus Nightmare, and instead of going into Galatea, we don't care so much about the Orcus. Uh, Mermaid's literally there just to give you a free level 7. And you always, always, always have two level 7s and a Time Star. Always, always. Simply because of Guard Dragons and Orcus. Again, we don't care so much about the actual Orcus engine. We just want to ensure that you can special summon Dark Magician out. Because this combo cannot work unless you special Dark Magician and normal Time Star. Which I'm telling you is extremely easy to do if you play Orcus and the Guard Dragons. Every hand ensures it. Dragon Call over here is another card uh, where it ensures a Guard Dragon combo happens all the time. It's a Magician that you can get with Pankaw if you need it. Or Wisdom Eye. And it makes any monster you control a, a, a Dragon. Which ensures the guard dragon combo results every time. But again, and I repeat, we didn't need to go to the guard dragons here. So we're going to keep talking about our combo now. We special out the ultimate wizard in terms of attack and defense. The greatest monster ever made in Yu-Gi-Oh! After the one above him. And we're going to keep going in our combo here. We're going to go into... Well, you should have thought, I'm going to put Mike's where Evil Illusion is. And Evil Illusion where Mike's is. We're just going to switch spots. Uh, simply just a pendulum summon. So our, on our pendulum summon, we put Mike's there and gate zero there. That's what we should have done, a little smarter to clear up the middle zone. Now you're going to go to Nightmare Unicorn to make a uh, slot underneath it to make Time Star Magician. This is where we search Magician's Rod. And if you notice, everything's dark in this deck, so we can simply go into Orcus. This is where you have, this is where you typically would go into the second level 7 uh, with the Orcus Nightmare to go into Ebon Illusion. But again, we had both Time Star and Ebon Illusion in this hand. And we hard drew the Destrudo, otherwise we would have gone into Guard Dragons. So I'm just going to continue going with this combo. And any hand does this combo, literally any hand. It's actually amazing. It'll blow your minds when you see it at the very end. Now we're going to go into Galatea. We don't care so much about that. We just want to keep going here. We're just going to add a, draw a little bit before we go into Magician's Rod. Because Magician's Rod is our normal summon. We have an extra normal summon because we special summon, or Pendulum Summon Symphonic Warrior Mics. So that's a summon sorceress. I was proxying it. I uh, forgot to put it in. I just did this combo real quick. I forgot to put it in. So it's going to be summon sork right there. Proxied it. Undueling book. Come the pen guy. I can do whatever I want. And we keep going here. We're just going to sub it through the deck and create some space for Magician's Raw. We want to. We need to save space. Uh, there's so much monsters on board. Like you need to save as much as slots as possible. And then you're going to Magician's Raw normal summon at the very, very end. Just because uh, you want to save all the spots possible. We want to Rusty now with Galatea and Time Star. Uh, we just want to free up all the space, like I said. We don't want to draw into these when we orchestrate a return. And we, we just run first because we, we don't want to draw into the spell. This is the spell you're going to see right there. Bond between teacher and student. This card is insane. It's an OCG card right now, releasing very, very soon in the TCG. Let me tell you what this card does. This card will blow your mind. If you control Dark Magician, special so which we do because we special it up Dark Magician Girl, and Magician Draw it says, search a spell trap that specifically lists the, the card Dark Magician in its text, which it has Dark Magician in its text. Special summon one Dark Magician Girl from your hand, deck, or graveyard. So even if you draw a Dark Magician Girl in a combo, it doesn't matter. You pitch it for whatever, pendulum summon it, whatever, it doesn't matter. Then you can set one Dark Magic Attack, Dark Burning Attack, Dark Ma uh, Burning Magic, or Dark Magic Twin Birds directly from your deck. One of these Dark Attacks or whatever, Dark Burning Attack, I think it was. The card says, if you control Dark Magician Girl and Dark Magician, destroy all cards your opponent controls. That's nuts! What the hell? And Pendulums let you summon all this stuff so easily. And it's not even just like that's going to be your only interruption. Like the best that Dark Magician Board can do is summon out a get Bond Teacher... The bomb between teacher and support resolving, which even that in itself is hard because it can't summon Dark Magician until turn two. So it does even more than what a Dark Magician deck does. Plus, you're gonna end up with multiple in the gates, NSRU, all that, etc. etc. Here we draw the Dark Magician girl. It don't matter. Like, we're gonna summon it anyway. So even if you, it's not like a bomb between teacher and support uh, and student is only for especially from the deck, it's hand deck or grave. So even if you hard draw the Dark Magician girl, it doesn't matter. At this point, we're gonna use the Sudo's effect uh, targeting the Magician's rod. We don't need to make it. We could go into Boral Savage as an extra negate. But we don't really care here. We're going to... We want to plus a little bit more as well. And space is an issue as well. We want to end on the Azathoth to end it. So we're going to go into with uh, all those four. We're going to go into Saryudra. We're going to plus a little bit more. And we're going to put back Dark Magician Girl. So it's going to be a free summon. Here we draw three foolishes. We already have one on board. So unfortunate. It's okay. 
We get the lore. Uh, put back some cards. We're going to take that back when we realize that. So we foolish it. Put back the shrine. And you can also say you just special summon if you want to. But there's no space at the end of the combo. I'll show you guys right now in a bit. We're going to go hard pour. We're going to bring out the Brigadine. We're not going to go into Redoer. Beside uh, Rusty. Popping the Black Fang. Because we're already... Uh, we didn't use Punch Zone Call. And we're going to special summon the Jackal. And now we're going to start activating some spells. Uh, we're going to activate Bomb to Teacher uh, Student now. Bringing out Dark Magician Girl from the deck. And uh, they also get boosts from Saryu Just. So it's like they're unbeatable. You can't attack over them. And summoning out or bringing out Dark Burning Magic. If you control monsters whose original names are Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl, destroy all cards your opponent controls. How nuts is that combo? Like, that's actually nuts. That's amazing. That's absolutely amazing. Giving both Abductor and Jackal counters. And we're going to activate the lore. Get rid of the skeleton. We don't need it. Look at that. Like, look look at that, man. Look at that. Like, the Redoer is going to come back. We have four cards in hand. <laughs> what the hell? Like, Abductor is going to search one more time on our turn. We have access to the Strudo. Like, what the hell, man? That's absolutely nuts. Like, look at that. Like, look, look at that. <laughs> what the hell? This is Dark Magician we're talking about. Like, really, this is the reason we can do this combo. Because of these cards. Now, and we're going to get Azathar on their turn. And uh, let's say you're playing a monster deck. You're playing a monster deck you can't play. We got Azathar and a Rusty Pop. So you got a Rusty Pop on their turn. You got an Azathar. You got a Jackal just in case they Kaiju your, your Azathar before you make it. Like, before like they Kaiju the Redoer. And then, after all that, we got the number one interaction in the game. Dark Burning Magic. Destroy all cards your opponent controls. Like, what the hell? Like, this card's nuts. This card's broken. What the hell? And usually, if you didn't hard draw the Destrudo, uh, you go into the Guard Dragon combo, special it out, and you end on a Heart, Heart Dragon, Archfiend, Abyss instead of a Jackal. Like, and, uh, with the Guard Dragon combo. And that would stop them from Dead Queen, which is literally the only, or, twi or Twister. It stops both of them. And both your rank up and your Dark Burning Magic will resolve. This is nuts. I've actually outdone myself for like every video, which I always do. So, like I said, this deck's absolutely broken. Dark Magician Tier 1. And I'm going to show you guys a deck list in the future. So, comment below if you guys want to see a deck list. If you got like 10 of you guys say it, I'll do it. And it's nuts, man. Like, every turn ends on this. I'll show duels with it as well. <coughs> That's some like, hilarious duels. Where I play on Raided, and I end on this board, and it's like, what the hell? Oh, my God. He's special Dark Magician. Oh, my God. Dark Magician Girl. All these dweebs just go nuts. And you see, obviously. But I'm not... A, I know the Dark Magician Girl sleeves and, like, uh... And picks here, but yeah, I'm not a weeb, whatever. I can have it up there, but what Dark Magician Girl is my, my girl. I, I, I like you, Dark Magician. You're, you're my dog, you're my dog. And there we go. Like, what's your point you're gonna do? If, if, I'm duel, if I'm dueling someone and they put this board up, I'm scooping. Just take the win, bro. I don't care how many negates you got. Take the win. Take the win, bro. You're utilizing Dark Magician Girl and Dark Magician in a crazy combo that's amazing. Just take the win. In fact, take my girl too while you're at it. Like, that's absolutely nuts. Like, it's absolutely broken. And for all your point knows, these two are also real backer. Like, you literally have, you went plus 10. Like, with the rank up being set, like, it'll be 5, 10, 11, 12, 13 cards. With the whole Orcus engine recycling itself. Like, what? Like, that's nuts, man. That's insane. Like, that's actually nuts. That's the video. I hope you guys like it. If you don't subscribe, because you're going to end up like uh, Mr. Little Mini Lion over there. And that's how you, when you roast one of my decks, you uh, get choke slammed. And uh, yeah, boys, that's the video. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace. Before a bunch of you noobs say some garbage like, Oh my god, he's only playing one Dark Magician card in a bad Dark Magician Pendulum deck. A normal Dark Magician deck plays two Dark Magician cards in their turn. They normal summon Magician's Rod. They search circle. They add nothing, and they set two bricks and pass. I literally play more Dark Magician cards on my turn than a pure Dark Magician deck, but I end up with a plus 10 as well, and uh, as a thought, and a Jackal, and etc, etc. Oh yeah, so I answered your question. Dark Magician is now meta in 2019. You guys read Dark Burning Magic? That card says, take a shit on your opponent. And no problem, take a piss while you're at it. Because it's too good. It's too good! What are you going to do, bro? You want to you wanna roast my deck again? Bro, I'm so sorry, Pen God. It's the best deck in the world. That's what I thought. So, guys, hope you liked this video. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace.